welcome. If you need some support, head over to my website and check out my offerings, including my donation-based products, and access my free IFS guided meditations. Additionally, if you're finding this podcast helpful, consider making a tax-deductible gift to help keep IFS accessible to all. And you can do all of this at faithfullygrowing.com. Welcome back to IFS Meditations and Insights. I'm Tim Fortescue, your guide on this journey here to help foster spiritual wholeness and healing through the lens of internal family systems. In this caring space, we aim to dive into self-discovery and inner knowledge. I truly believe that when we accept all parts of ourselves, we're able to experience deep love and live more fully. I'm thankful to be on this journey with you and to be a part of this community as we follow the path to inner peace and sacred connection. So settle in, open up your heart and mind, and let's begin another episode. going to lead you in a meditation focused on embracing self-compassion and understanding your inner critics using the IFS model. As we begin, find a comfortable position, either sitting or lying down, and gently close your eyes. Or if you prefer, you can let your gaze rest softly in front of you. Take a couple deep breaths, if that helps, allowing yourself to settle in this moment. As you continue to breathe deeply, bring your attention to your body. Notice any areas of tension and allow them to relax. Feel the support of the surface beneath you, grounding you in the present. Know that you can pause this recording at any time, if your system needs more time than it allows. Now let's begin our journey inward. Imagine that you are entering a peaceful, safe space within your mind. This is a place where you can connect with your inner world with compassion and curiosity. In this safe space, bring to mind a recent time when your inner critic was particularly loud. Perhaps it was criticizing work, your parenting, or your appearance. Allow yourself to recall this moment without judgment. Now gently acknowledge the presence of your inner critic. Maybe you wanna make that plural, inner critics. That's okay too. Some of them are grouped together.
you might say to it, I see you. I know you're trying to help me in your own way. Notice how this part responds to your acknowledgement. It may feel relieved just to be recognized. Next, see if you can get curious about this inner critic. Ask it, what are you trying to protect me from? Or, what do you need from me? Listen with an open heart if you can, without judgment. You may need to ask some parts if they could give you some space and soften back here, reminding them that they can have some time in the future now. But for now, take a moment to hear what this critic has to say. As you listen, offer this part some compassion. You might say, thank you for trying to protect me. I appreciate your efforts. Let it know that you understand its intentions and that you're grateful. Now, create a bit of space between yourself and this inner critic. Imagine stepping back or observing it from a distance. As you do this, see if you can send the part some compassion, curiosity, calmness. From yourself, the core, who you are at your essence, And again, if you're feeling something other than things along the lines of compassion, curiosity, and calmness, it's likely another part. See if that part could soften back and give you some space, knowing that it, again, can have some time in the future, if it's like that. From this place of calmness and curiosity, engage in a compassionate dialogue with your inner critic. Reassure it that you, who you are at your best, yourself, is in charge and that you appreciate its protective role. Let it know that there might be a gentler way to achieve the same goal that you're here to support it. And if your critic answered the question, what are you trying to protect me from? That could be an indication of the younger, more vulnerable part that it's working so hard to protect. If that's the case, let it know you're aware of that part too. But the critic matters. We can't bypass it. See how it responds to that.
take a moment to reflect on this interaction. Notice any shifts in how you feel towards your inner critic. Perhaps it feels more understood, more relaxed, or more willing to cooperate. And perhaps it doesn't. It's still struggling. Let it know that that's okay too. See if it could trust you just a little more. See if there's anything else you want to share with it or that it wants to share with you. As we begin to conclude this meditation, think that part that can be critical for as much or as little as it's shared. Took courage regardless and let it know that you can spend more time with it in the future if it would like that. Think any parts that soften back for their courage to do that and remind them that you can make time for them to have a voice too. Maybe let them know when. When it feels complete for now, take a few deep breaths. Grounding yourself in the present moment. Reminding yourself that you can return to this safe space anytime you need to connect with your inner world and offer compassion. When you're ready, gently bring your awareness back to your body. Wiggle your fingers and toes and And it feels complete. Slowly open your eyes if they were closed and come back to the present moment. Thanks for your courage in joining me in this meditation. Remember the journey to self-understanding and healing is ongoing. Be kind to yourself and continue to nurture your inner world with compassion and curiosity. Take care. That wraps up another episode of IFS Meditations and Insights. If you found it useful, please share and leave a positive review to help others find the podcast. For more content, visit blog.faithfullygrowing.com for a free categorized list of meditations and insights and podcast episodes. As always, your thoughts on the podcast are welcome. Send me an email with thoughts or questions to tim at faithfullygrowing.com. Thank you again for being part of this community. Remember to be compassionate to yourself and others. And I look forward to our next session. And until then, take care, stay curious, and embrace all parts of your journey.